Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today I was watching the news, and, you know, doing some uh, search and study as usual. And I came through those, uh, it's called Presbyterian Church. Uh, I was really surprised to see that somebody is a Christian and he is deceived uh, the same as those people. And then I searched more about those Presbyterian Church and I found a lot of things uh, proving to me that those people are not Christians. First of all, they support Hamas. They support the Muslims. They support the destruction of Israel. And they support Muslims taking over every place they want. At the same time, they never support churches. They never support Christian in the Middle East seeking for the for, for rights, not equal rights even, like just rights. They never support something good. They support everything evil. They support gay and lesbian. They support gay priests. Uh, since when we have gay priests? The Bible says it clearly that the, the ones who is a is a gay, the one who is uh, the the gambler, the you know the you know the, those things you know is going to take you to hell. God he destroys cities for for that reason. Those people they approve you to be even a priest and a gay in the same time. This is telling you that those are no Christian. They made uh, in March uh, from fifth to nine this year. Uh, presentation is called the Christ at the checkpoint and for sure this is about what is about attacking Israel so if Christ is going to pass through from Bethlehem to go to uh, uh, to Jerusalem he will be in the checkpoint I want to say to them so what so what you idiot just to let you know there was a checkpoint at that time too just to show you how stupid idiot you are Everyone when I enter the door of the city of Jerusalem, there's a checkpoint, but at that time it was by the Roman. Because they are the one who's controlling the Jews. So, stupidity is a must. It's amazing. When somebody decides to be stupid, that's it. Nobody can, can help him. And we have a checkpoint everywhere. If, if, if Christ, he want to come as a man to America, huh? and he want to go through the airport, he will be in the checkpoint. Just to show you how stupid the idea, trying to emulate even Christ by this title, making it as if it's making fun of the Jews, but the fact you are making fun of Christ. Christ himself, he was crucified, not only checkpoint. On the cross, where? In Jerusalem. Who was there? It was the Jews. Who was the court? It was the Jews. In the same time, those idiot liars, they are saying that the Jews do not deserve the land of Israel. And they are asking everybody to be caught, Israel, and they are supporting a Palestinian Islamic organization. It's called BDS, which is a very hateful organization made to destroy Israel. So, just to make it short, you cannot be Christian and you hate Israel. You cannot be Christian and you are against Israel. Uh, uh, the belief that Israel is the land of the Jews. If you believe that Israel is not the land of the Jews, it's mean you do not know Christ and you never read the Bible and you are no Christian. You are false. If we go right now to the Bible and we search for the word, the land of Israel. Let us go there actually and search for the land of Israel. Where is the land of Israel? So if we go to the Bible and we search for the land of Israel, we will find that it exists at least, uh, in the Old Testament, at least 31 times. So do you, Presbyterian Church, read the Bible? Do you see how many times the Bible is saying the land of Israel, the land of Israel? So this is the land of Israel, but the land of Israel was Alaska maybe? Where is the Israeli are from then? Are you denying the whole... You know, all of us, we know, by the way, that those who they are called Palestinian today, they, those are not Palestinian. The real Palestinian who exist in there, they are not even, you know, 80 or 90,000. 
those are the Christians who they are occupied by Umar al Khattab. Go and search right now by, uh, for the Pact of Umar. The Pact of Umar m m happened to exist when the Islamic occupation first time entered that land. Until the state of Amawiyin, there was nobody speak Arabic in that land. It was only Aramaic and Hebrew. Only. Arabic wasn't exist. And that is including Syria, Iraq, etc. Never sp spoke Arabic. So, all of us, we know that this is not even the land of the Muslims. Those themselves, they are occupation. If we ask the Muslim themselves, Christ, he was born where? They will say to you, in Palestine. <laughs> All right, that's wonderful. <laughs> and even they will say to you that the Christ is Palestinian, <laughs> which is funny. So he is born in Bethlehem, right? Okay, now who was living there? You will find that the Palestinian was not living there. Never. Long after, you know, they they have existence in in that in that territory. The Bible speak about Gaza to be where the Palestinian, the real Palestinian, not those Hamas and Muslims. The real Palestinian used to live in Gaza. But the land of Israel is was always exist. Even in the Quran, if you go and read my book, go to my book and read. I have a big chapter about Israel. It's shown with the proofs and evidence from the Islamic books, including the Quran, even from the Quran, that this is the land of Israel. And even Allah himself admitting that Allah, he gave them the land. Then if it is in the Muslim book, in the Quran, it is the land of Israel. How somebody claimed to be Christian, arguing and supporting the terrorist, saying that this is the land of of the Muslims and they are saying free Palestine free Palestine from who what by the way why didn't say free a free uh, uh, free Iraq Iraq is the land of Assyrian the Muslims occupy it the Assyrian is a very ancient nation and, and they deserve their land give it they give them their land the Assyrian now is all over the world why because they lost their land Oh, they don't care for the Assyrian. Why do they want to care? They care for the Palestinian, which they are not Palestinian. The real Palestinian, they are. The Christians, who they are a few thousands, exist right now. Those who they are now, they are themselves occupation. Those are Arab Muslims are not Palestinian. What about asking for to free uh, Syria? Syria is a land occupied by Muslims. This is the land of the Syrian, and the, the, their language is Aramaic, not Arabic. What about free in Egypt? How come this Presbyterian church, they remember only, only and only to hate Israel? But they have no reason for them to ask the Muslims to give the land for those who they occupy it from. What about Turkey? Turkey, the whole country of Turkey doesn't exist, never exist. This is the Christian Greek empire. The Eastern Greek Empire. So I say to you, whoever you are, if you are a person who call yourself a Christian, don't ever join this, what it's called, Presbyterian Church. Those are false people and they are no Christian. The one who say, be caught Israel because they are occupation. I don't care, by the way, if you feel be caught Israel or not. Israel, you know, Israel will be provided by the Lord who created Israel, not by you. I don't care about you not buying uh, cheese from Israel. Don't buy. Don't buy. Don't worry about it. The Lord who gave Israel the existence from nothing, huh? after, after they lost their kingdom, they lost their glory, again, he can provide them. If the Lord wants them to go, they will go, and not your big court will make them go. But I'm, I'm speaking here about how somebody claim to be Christian and he support such an evil act so I say to you if you are a Christian don't ever in join this organization this is why you see the Muslims are so happy for them they are supporting them they are happy to have those idiots 
And this is why you see the Muslims are praising them in every article. You will never see somebody, he's a Muslim, he's attacking this church. And that is telling you that this is not a church of God. A Muslim, and he support the church, there is something fishy there, right? I think you agree with me. So just I wanted to share this message with you. Spread this video all over, please. And if you are a Christian and you hate Israel, I will say to you, you are no Christian. If you say, I hate the Jews, you are no Christian too. Because if you hate the Jews, you have to hate Paul. You have to hate John. You have to hate Luke. You have to hate Matthew. You have to hate Mary. You have to hate Joseph. And even you have to, have to hate Christ. Because Christ himself, he is born from Mary. So, a person... He denied the existence of Israel, and he called Israel an occupation. He is no Christian. And by the way, I, I searched for this Presbyterian church, and they found they approve gay marriage. They approve gay priests. They, are, they have nothing to do with Christianity. So I advise people, if you are a person who goes to this church, fight it wherever you go. Ask people to leave it. This is not a church. Let us say this is a, this is a homo, lolo, fofo, momo organization. You can name it wherever you want. But it's not a Christian church. And actually, I was looking at this person, how, how he act. You know, he looked like nothing as, as, a, as a minister, nothing like a priest. But he act and he talk like if he's a gay. And look with me, look how he talk. And you tell me, what is that? Approach um, to scripture and you can get charts upon charts. And by the way, this is what Westerners love. We love charts. Very gay movement. Very gay. What is that, man? I never saw a man doing this. What is that? It's like speaking like a girl. You know, what is missing is just to say, I have better care and manicure in my, in my nails. So, uh, uh, I'm not going to judge him by uh, his movement, but I judge them by their mouth, by their teaching. Shame on you to claim to be Christian, and at the same time, you are supporting the occupier of Israel against the Israeli. Those who destroy our churches for the last 1400 years and they kill the Christians and destroy their nations everywhere and you support them. Shame on you and you are no Christian. So please spread the message and tell everybody that this is not a church and those are not Christians. Let this church become empty. Warn your friend, tell everybody Christ is Lord, Islam is false and this Presbyterian church is nothing but a joke. See you soon with more video and don't forget to join our show this coming Thursday at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time and we have another show at 3 p.m. actually early show for those who live in, in Europe. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean.